guys how's it going welcome to my video all right so we're going to do this video on a variety of nissan vehicles with this problem and there was a recall for this problem uh the years have pretty much ranged from uh 2009 to 2011 but it could extend to other uh years um with other nissan vehicles besides the maximas the ultimas and a, a variety of other uh, nissan um, vehicles but here's the um here's the here's the uh, situation with uh this diagnosis of this um, no crank no start situation and um if you guys are stuck in this situation okay you guys want to know what the symptoms are because um there are many things that could cause a no crank no start situation on not just um nissans but any other vehicle that's out there that's just a whole myriad of things that could cause it and you guys would want to know what the symptoms are and if you guys know what the symptoms are you guys could probably narrow it down to uh some kind of um a fix a quick fix if you guys are lucky but the uh, scenario on this is um if you guys get this no crack no start and it uh out of nowhere you guys get into your vehicle um, and you guys get a no crank no start initially you probably think it might be the battery that's um the, the uh, issue and many times you guys are in this situation you guys think it's the battery you guys probably got a jump for it or you guys got another battery for it you guys swapped out battery and then you still have the same problem um this might help you with your situation so in this particular situation one of the symptoms is the dash and radio won't come on all right it's a no crank no start um the radio will not come on so here's here's the um here's the thing that could be causing your problem and and it could be an easy fix to get you out of a situation where your car is stuck in the middle of nowhere um, many times, um, the electronic steering column lock, which is the ESCL, um, in these particular Nissan vehicles have issues and, um, not only do they have issues, but there has been recalls on this particular issue. And I'm going to give you guys what, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the fix was you guys could do um a couple of things but one of the fixes is you guys could remove the 10 amp steering wheel lock fuse and uh this is in the fuse box of uh that's that's under the hood um and and um and a lot of the cars that are impacted by this um, are the, are the uh, 2009 2011 uh, vehicles from Nissan, but it, it ranges anywhere from Maximas to 370Zs, the Altimas, the Cube. But like I said, it could actually be um, Nissans of various other years and a whole myriad of Nissan vehicles, whatever the lineup that, that they had um, during those years. But here's the thing about it if you guys did that and uh, took the fuse out, and pop the fuse back in and it still didn't start and uh there's something else you guys would want to do but um another thing that you guys will be seeing with this particular um situation is that the key light all right you're going to see the key light light up on the dash um but the rest of the lights won't work on your dash and the radio won't work and and like i said before if you guys were in the situation you guys actually tried to jump start it or, or swap swap out the battery it doesn't really change anything as far as um getting it to work is concerned so if you guys are stuck in this situation and the scenario that i am telling you about is the scenario that you have where you guys um as i said before it's not the battery you guys know that it's not the battery that's the problem you guys get the the, the key light that's on a dash but you guys don't get any other dash light you guys do not get the radio working and you guys did change out the the fuse um and it still won't work there is 
one other thing that you guys can do that to try to get it to work and uh, that is to get to the module itself now if you guys look at the picture and I will have the, the picture up at this point um, it's under it's under the um, undercover of the of the of the steering wheel all right many times in most cases you guys gonna have to want to take that cover off you guys gonna want to take that cover off to get to it you might be able to get to it um, <clears throat> you might be able to get to it you could try getting to it but here's the same situation that 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 um, that that what you know what happens with starter motors is that um, over time you know there's a there's a there are components there are motorized components within that module that actually turns and sometimes um, over time whatever it may have been you know age or, or, or malfunction or whatever it, it 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 locks up so in this situation you want to get to that module where you could actually tap it with something you want to tap it with lightly tap it with um a small hammer lightly tap it with some kind of um uh you know you guys have a screwdriver you guys want to you might want to tap it but a lot of times screwdrivers just aren't uh doesn't carry enough weight to actually if you bang on it doesn't carry enough weight to actually make enough of an impact for it to maybe loosen up whatever it is that's making it you know get stuck so <clears throat> You want you want to get something that's just heavy enough where you could just tap on it. It makes enough of an impact where it could just loosen up, you know, the whatever part that's stuck to get it to work. Whatever the module is, I'm not quite sure what the mod, what's inside the module. It's a motor, but there's a mechanism. That mechanism gets stuck. All right. Um, so you might be able to get to it without taking your your cover off. But in many cases, in most cases, if you guys want to get the um, the ability to to, to 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 get enough impact on the module so that um so so basically in this situation what you want to do is you want to just hit it tightly tap it all around press the push dot you know and and just do that uh multiple times until it actually starts up um and many times if you are in this situation with this particular um, these particular symptoms, it will start up um, after you tap it uh, a couple of times. But you will have to get to it. It's not very difficult to get to it. You might, you know, getting the, the uh, cover off, you you will need like a uh, Phillips screwdriver, uh, a flathead screwdriver to pry off the panel from the, panel from the side. It's not, it, it's not a very difficult thing if you guys have um, a flathead and a Phillips screwdriver and um, a little hammer with you it doesn't really have to be a hammer it just has to be something with enough weight so that when you tap on it um, it uh, when you bang on it 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 it, it, it makes enough of an impact to actually loosen up whatever it actually, the mechanism that's um that's that's uh that that's you know that that's no longer working but anyway um let me just get back to the fuse that i was talking about and if you guys look at the um the cover to the fuse box um there's gonna be there's gonna be details of uh, you know what 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 the fuses are for and it's called the steering lock fuse it's a tam 10 amp fuse it's called the steering amp steering lock fuse hopefully just taking the fuse out and popping it back on might work for you guys and you guys don't have to do the whole tapping method but unfortunately it, in many cases just doing that will not actually work so it's not the worst case scenario if you guys could actually get it started by bang on on, on the module itself but in any case, hope this is where hope you guys help you guys out, um, and uh, it gets you guys out of the jam that you guys are in. Obviously, um, if you guys do get it started, you guys want to replace that module because it's gonna keep on happening over and over again. Um, so, because of the malfunction of the module, but anyway. Um, if you guys have any comment, leave a comment in the comment section. If you guys have any of your own personal experiences with this, definitely leave a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. Um, all that good stuff for right, guys. Take care.